It's getting there. The boxes are getting there. In fact, I'm going to save. There we go. This is actually a well-crafted game. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, you know, in some of these games, these boxes would have uh, already glitched out of the walls or something. You know, with the amount of. Uh, holding these things all over the place. I don't know if that's just a feature of the Unity or uh, because I think this game is made with Unity. Since I'm on the subject of Unity, um, you know, just like iMovie, if you're getting started with Unity, you need computer basics. Computer basics includes knowing what uh, flat, the different flash types are. What SDs are, you're going to be porting graphics with SDs, maybe you have a photographer and you want you want to take the photos and place them into your Unity game. Well, you know you need to know about the computer basics, including the different media types, you know. Um, System requirements. You need to know system requirements, or oh, it's all the way up here. Or um, you're going to get screwed when you create your project, and Jury isn't around to help you install the software if you're going to make Unity a business. So, Computer Basics comes first. Then you can get into all the uh, meat and potatoes of iMovies, Unity, uh, the music software stuff, all the little arts and crafts that you can think of that comes in a box. You need to know the different peripherals. It's just basics. It's just computer basics. If you really want to pay uh, an arm and a leg for to hire somebody out to install your software or to tell you that no the um, the guy who shot all your video um, is not presenting in in the uh, SD uh, secure digital format that uh, that you're expecting in fact you're going to need a peripheral to um, install that then um, you, know, you could use, always use Google but um, chances are that if you don't even know what the media formats are then you're not going to know what to look for so you need to know computer basics everyone needs to know computer basics if they're going to get into the field of any sort of computer aided whatever computer aided design computer drafting uh, computer uh, media, etc., etc. Computer basics are the, are required, and um, you know, that's just something that um, really needs to be, you know, really needs to be taught, including the keyboarding. You know, 
learning how to type for real <laughs> for real not just some made up program that uh, requires no instructional support because I because I took keyboarding in high school um, yeah I'm a 1980s uh, born person whatever you call them um, I don't know, I was just thinking about it again. It's just silly. It's really just silly to put anyone through a course like that that's so advanced and not teach the basics. I just don't know what to say. I, I really don't. Um, and I've got, I really feel like I really need to speak up and say something about that. Um, not to turn this let's play into a bunch of bit, bit of a gripe, but uh, it's just you don't make an egg sandwich without an egg. You, you start with, by cooking the egg before you even think about putting t together the egg sandwich. I know, I'm sure there's something, uh, something like that that makes a lot more sense. Uh, but you know, really um, jumping jumping onto something that seems like a lot of fun really it just seems like a lot of fun and it's not the way to do it it's not the um, it's not the way that education is taught you don't start by you know jumping to the second step without completing the first completing the foundation I think uh, a foundation course in anything related to computers needs to begin with the basics. I mean, the foundation is the uh, basics, but I mean, going to the to the advanced stuff, creating your movies, etc., needs to start with the basics. You need to there needs to be the, an entry exam. If you're not going to prove it with uh, coursework, I mean that's just how that's just how colleges work. Um, you know, before you start with a uh, calc, you know, you need to know you need to prove uh, algebra, right? When you before you begin with. Um, the business course, you need, need to prove that you can, you're fluent in the, in the language, um, you know, it just depends on where, what the language that business is going to be, is going to be taught in, but, um, what I'm saying is that you need the basics. There's always a business 101 before you go into the, uh, higher levels of business. There's always a 101 <laughs> in any discipline. So, did that do it? Oh, thank God. Thank you. Yeah, even, uh, even doing this Let's Play, I mean, before I even could begin doing a Let's Play, this Let's Play, um, what did I need to know? I needed to know about USB. I needed to know that there are different uh, sizes of USB, and that these the uh, what my hardware supports. Sweet. Um. Need to know the different USB adapters. If I'm if I'm truly going to make make this a portable experience, where are you? Feel like yeah, he's in the wall. I can shoot him in the wall. I've done this before. Um, shot things in the wall. Um, but I mean, I need to know, like ampage, whatever it's called. The, you know, the USB device that I'm using, the Hop Hodge, takes one amp. 
And if I want to do that, need, that means I have to power off of a one, one amp device. So I happen to have a one amp, um, or powers one amp devices, uh, battery pack. I don't know, I think, uh, I don't know if, I, well, um, I guess computers don't output, really, god, this whole thing again, god, I feel like I could just push, I can just push these blocks, I don't know, <laughs> doing this, doing this again, is it is just so frustrating. Just is this is it this plate? No, I don't know. God, it's the skeletons. Where is the plate? I'm not even seeing it. Is it open? It's... What's this? Even on land, these things are just ridiculous. Just stay. Thank you. And now I shall save for fear that I will have to do that again and again and again. Just save. Alright, so, um. Yeah, it rolls back. Wow, there's a dozen skeletons. Basically, they spawn in here. I'm glad, I am so glad that this crossbow has an uh, unlimited amount of ammo. If anyone even recommended these developers made the recommendation that there, sh there should have been a limit and I would have to farm them oh my god oh it would just be such a pain At least I get the weapon part. I mean, the weapons shooting the thing is, is all right. But that whole boxing was just, uh, just what a nightmare. Like, who was that noise? Oh, okay. I guess I just had to hit five. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play this game again after this. I mean, this is it. I'm really done. That part, especially that part, just... I don't know, it's just... Uh, I wonder what... No, I... Well, yeah, it would be po it's possible. Could I, could I get trapped in that room? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a pressure play on the other side. 
I bet they thought about it. I bet it's they just tested this whole thing on like a few devices and it worked well so they just kept it. Or maybe that's why they put it at the very end. So at least you'd uh you get you get stuck there and then you could decide if you really wanted to continue or not. Um, I don't remember if the skeletons respawn or not, but it's no biggie if they do. This is the spider room. I believe that is the next room I need to go into. Though probably, uh, possible. Yeah, see? I can just shoot him through the wall. I mean, why not? I'm just reading. Okay. There's a snake in this room. It's a lot of 